a couple customers that were regulars in here, and I knew one of them worked at the White House, didn't know what he did. And the other one, the, his wife worked for the NSC, and they were talking about health care, and I was saying, I, I tend to interject with all my customers, and uh, they were talking, I said, it's, it's nuts, We've got, I have staff members, that it's more economical for them to fly, take a month off work, leave their families, fly to El Salvador for a month, the expense of flying, I'm without an employee for a month, the family's without a family member for a month, so that they can get health care there, and then come back, and they're fine, but you know, the loss of income, you know, this this the hassle. And they said, well, would you care to tell my boss about that? And I was like, well, sure. Well, three days later, I'm in the shower, the phone rings, and it's just, I get out dripping wet, and the staff says, the White House called, they want you to call him back? <laughs> I was like, my brother's in town pulling a joke. So I called the number, damn if it wasn't Bill Clinton's appointment secretary. So yes, right? the president would like to meet with you the day after tomorrow, would you be available? And, uh, and so did up, he come here? And no, I went to, oh. I met, met with him and it was, it was somewhat of a photo op thing for anything the presidents do, of course, there's, there's, there's some, right. some publicity to be had for somebody. And uh, we met with nine other small businessmen in a hardware store for an hour and a half, mm. and just talked back and forth about the problems and shared shared our cons my concern as a small businessman. Uh, and it was just just so incredible to be able to, you know, a guy that makes southwestern food for a living suddenly to be sitting with the most pow powerful man in the world yeah. and be able to have a serious discussion with him where he was listening to what I had to say. Right. Three days later, I'm in the shower again. Phone rings that it's the White House. Call because they had my direct number by then instead of going through the restaurant, asking if I would be available for more of a photo op type thing where there was a, a big gathering of people rather than the intimate gathering that we had had before. Right. And I was like, sure, what do I have better to do than show up at the White House? And this <laughs> was at the White House. Hang up the phone, 10 minutes later, Senator Dole, who was the majority leader of the Senate at the time, his office calls and said, Senator Dole would like to have lunch with you and talk about health care issues. <laughs> happened to be the exact same time that I had just set up to be at, at the White House. Oh, so you had to turn down. So, so I had to turn down <laughs> Bob Dole because I had a meeting with the president. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she's in New York on a business trip, picks up, I think, the, the New York US, Times. US, no, U.S. News and World Report. US, U.S. News and World Report. <laughs> opens, you know, she's just leafing through it and opens it up. There's a picture of me with the president, and the whole, it was just, it was, it was a wild episode. Wow, all right. It led to local WJLA affiliate coming in here, doing a live interview with me, and a gentleman who, I'm, I was pro-healthcare at the time, and another gentleman who I knew was not pro-healthcare, that was a friend of mine. So we had an actual online, live on TV debate about healthcare. Um, public television came in, and they have a show called Business First in the Morning, they came in and followed my staff and myself around for the whole day and decanted it down to about a, a, a 10 to 15 minute piece that was on their show in the morning the next day. Um, it was my 15 minutes of fame. Wow. It was pretty cool. But I mean, just the people that come through the door, you just never know who they are. They'll be sitting at the, at the table and it could be somebody very powerful. It could be somebody that's just on well, the edge of the the carry on said, Ambassador so and so will be dining with me tomorrow night. We're like, okay. Yes, yes. Rosalind's a great, Rosalind's a neat area. You just never know who's going to be around here.